Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your website files with Softaculous. Alright, start by logging into cPanel. Once you log in, we're going to go down to the Software and Services section and click the Softaculous button here. This will bring you to the Softaculous page. Once here, we're going to click Application Installs. Little button on top here. And then you're going to see all the CMSs you've installed. In my case, I've got WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and Concrete 5. There's a little icon here on the right. If you put your mouse over, it says Backup. And you'll see each program has a backup icon. So whichever one you want to back up, you're going to click this icon for. In my case, I'm going to back up this WordPress website so I'm gonna click the backup button next to it when you do that it's gonna bring you to a quick summary page here and you have options to choose if you want to back up the directory or the database if you just want to back up the directory then go ahead and uncheck the database and vice versa in this case I'm gonna back up both so I'm gonna make sure both are are checked and you could also write a note in here and it just helps you identify the backup uh, later so if you're say incrementally taking them you can say this is the first of the of the month or something like that alright but once you've made your selections here scroll down and we're gonna click the backup installation button this is gonna take some time and of course it's gonna be based on the size of your website uh, in my case it was pretty quick because it's not too much on that website and you'll see this message when it's completed the backup is it was created successfully you can download it from the backups page and so if you could click this backups link like that and you'll see your backup here you can also click the backup and restore link up here and it'll bring you to the same page alright once you see the backup that you have I recommend downloading it by clicking this arrow here if you put my mouse over it you'll see it says download backup I recommend downloading that and actually saving it somewhere else for example an external hard drive or a USB thumb drive or even a CD or DVD disc and that's just so you have it for your own archives uh, and also you can delete this once it's finished or you can leave it here in your cPanel I recommend deleting it because you don't want to have a bunch of backups there uh, but it's up to you and it's really uh, based on what you're doing with your website and how often you're gonna restore if you think you might have to restore soon then you might want to keep the backup there uh, but I also want to show you uh, if you go back to the cPanel cPanel Home, and if you go to the File Manager, I'm just going to go to the Home Directory. You'll see there's a Softaculous Backups folder here in your Home Directory. If you click that, that's where your backup is actually stored. So you can also download it from there directly. And I just like to show people that's where your actual file is stored, even though it's listed in your Softaculous. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.